Hey, what's up, y'all? So I want to help you out on if you're using Cursor or if you're trying to learn how to develop with some kind of AI development partner. And so Cursor is probably the most popular one and the one I use, too. And so I'm going to go to just my cursor, right, because I'm in the middle of actually building a project. One of the things I want to illustrate is how far can you get in building products, production level products with Cursor have not having a development background, right? I don't I don't have a traditional development background. I didn't go to computer science school. I am just raw dogging it. <laughs> so this is my cursor and I'm working on an application. It's called Beatrice. And one of the things that I do that I think that'll help you out a lot is to have a folder that builds as you learn, right? Like, and this is particularly important for those of us who are learning how to develop. And so I have Beatrice. Beatrice, I'm not going to get into what Beatrice is yet. It's just, it's a, it's an app, but I was using the notepad and trying to create a dev log just of as I go, as I learn, as I build. And it just, I felt more natural putting it here in this folder. And so Beatrice is basically all the things that me and the large language model have created over time as we started to work on this app. And so there's a data folder, there's an engineering folder, there's as I learn more, right, these should probably be combined. But as I learn things and I'm like, oh, man, I didn't I didn't know about like Docker and Superbase, how to set those up. And so I had to go through and create basically an SOP or a learning guide as to how we were setting up our Docker and our super base. So this is a combination of documentation, combination of some of the stuff that the large language model or, or Claude came up with. And so I put it here. And so this shows me, you know, what's going on and I can reference it. So now I know what's happening like in the Docker, right? I can work my way or I can explain my way through this, especially to give directions to um, Claude. And so I have there, this is engineering. So this is product stuff. I have like an about, I have the branding, about the app, you know, who's the competition, like this kind of all go to market stuff. But some of it helps when you're asking the large language model on like what the feature does, right? And so I have this whole reference thing that it does. It has back end, we have sample data, JSON that it's supposed to have, the engineering back end. And so this this right here has Docker, super data, super base, all the things that we're using and all the documentation for quick reference because as many of you know that when you're over here on your composer side, and you run out of chats, right? When, you're, when your chat window gets too long and you have to create another composer window, the machine loses all the context that it has from what you've done. And oftentimes, if, if you're like me, you'll have to then go back and retrace and say, well, let me catch it up to everything that we've done. Because if it starts freestyling in agent mode, this is where it breaks a lot of your code because you're in you're in like I'm in agent agent mode here. I'm in agent mode. You can have agent mode here on your composer. And if you're in agent mode and it gets to just saying, oh, I see what's wrong. Oh, I know what's going on. Oh, I'm going to fix it. Oh, I'm going to do. And next thing you know, it's updated, you know, 10 different files and it's it's completely changed the code. And so what you can do is when you open up this new composer window right here, I'm, I'm working on like some database triggers and some of them were application triggers, database triggers versus application triggers. And Claude went crazy and broke a bunch of my code because I, I wasn't I was just letting it freestyle. And one of the things it picked up, though, is like we're recapping right now. This is all of us. Me recapping, asking, let me know what you're doing. Let me know what you're working on. Let me know you understand. And so I gave it clear. This, this is my prompt. I gave it clear instructions here. And it happened to read through my code base and found the documentation file that I built. Like this transcript processing MD is a documentation file that I built last week to just say, hey, when you're reading transcripts and turning them into recipes, this is how it should look. And so it referenced it here and says, oh, I see how we did it in the past. Let me just follow that. And then it went on to be able to show how we historically debugged, how we did all how we did everything. And so I just I just wanted to show you. I know that this, you know, I'm, I'm it's kind of messy because I'm building in person, you know, and this is an entire, you know, front end, back end. You know, this is this is I'm trying to build a production ready, like something that I could launch and people can use and sign up for um, just to show how far you can make it. Because the biggest thing I think in discussions around 
AI software development. I think I know like Lovable and Bolt are are saying, hey, you can you can design an application, you can build an app with our builders, which I don't I don't think is particularly true. I think you have to get into the code, and that's a whole nother video. I just really wanted to illustrate what creating documentation as you go could look like. Um, and so I hope that's just helpful. Now let me know if this is how I can make some of these videos better for those of you who are learning cursor. Um, I've made quite a bit of headway in cursor and how to use cursor and lovable and bolt. Like I've, I've used them all. I've actually built um, my own portfolio website. I was built with cursor. I've taught myself development, some fundamentals around syntax. Like yeah, it's important stuff, but you can teach yourself with large language models. So let me know if this kind of stuff is helpful or if you want to delve into any particular topics. I'm trying to find my way, find my audience, find my customer here. And so um, appreciate you guys watching.